Hi friends, in this video we are solving problems on functions of a single variable. Given problem is obtain McLaren series for the following functions. First one is e power x, second one is sin x, third one is e power x into sin x. Friends, first I am solving these problems by using McLaren's theorem. Later I can do for this e power x into sin x in a different method also. Okay. Now, now coming to the problems. The first problem is given that f of x is equal to e to the power of x. Now by using McLaren series we have to expand this function. From the McLaren series expansion we have f of x is equal to f of 0 plus x into f dash of 0 plus x square by 2 factorial into f double dash of 0 plus x cube by 3 factorial into f triple dash of 0 plus so on. Okay. Next term will be x to the power of 4 by 4 factorial into f 4 bull dash of 0 and so on. Clear friends? Now to simplify this, here we have left side uh, f of x. This f of x value is e power x. So to get expansion, we need to find out f of 0, f dash of 0, f double dash of 0 and f triple dash of 0. So to get these values, First, we have to find out the first derivative, second derivative, third derivative of the given function. Okay. Now, f of x is equal to e to the power of x we have. Now, if you put at uh, x is equal to 0, what about the f of x? At x is equal to 0, f of x will become f of 0. That is e to the power of 0. What is e power 0? 1. Next, differentiate f of x with respect to x. Then we will have f dash of x. This f dash of x means e power x derivative is again e to the power of x. At x is equal to 0, what is f dash of 0? f dash of 0 is equal to e to the power of 0. Again, you are getting 1 only. Next, f double dash of x. f double dash of x, double derivative of e power x is again e power x only. So, at x is equal to 0, f double dash of 0, what we have? e power 0, that is 1. Remember friends, up to nth derivative, whatever it may be, we are getting 1 only at x is equal to 0. Now, we have to substitute these all values in the above equation. Then we will have f of x is equal to, what you have? e to the power of x. So, expansion e power x is equal to, what is f of 0? f of 0 is 1 plus x into, what is f dash of 0? That is also 1 only. Plus x square by 2 factorial into, f double dash of 0 is what you have? That is also 1. Okay. Plus x cube by 3 factorial into f triple dash of 0. If nth derivative is what you are getting, nth derivative is 1 only. So, third derivative is also 1 and so on. Then we will get a exponential function e power x is equal to 1 plus x plus x into 1 is x only now. Now, x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial and so on. So, this is the expansion of the e power x. Similarly, we have to find out a expansion for the sin x. Now we are uh, finding the McLaren series expansion of f of x is equal to sin x. Friends, we know that uh, the McLaren series expansion is f of x is equal to f of 0 plus x into f dash of 0 plus x square by 2 factorial into f double dash of 0 plus x cube by 3 factorial into f triple dash of 0 plus x to the power of 4 by 4 factorial into f fourth derivative of 0 plus x to the power of 5 by 5 factorial into f fifth derivative of 0 plus so on. Okay. So to simplify this first we have to write the given function f of x that is sin x. Next we need to find out a f of 0, f dash of 0, f double dash, f triple dash and so on. So to get these values at x is equal to 0, first we need to find out the derivatives. First derivative, second derivative, third derivative. So now I am doing the first derivative that is f dash of x. Sin x derivative is we have cos x. Next I required f double dash also. So second derivative will become cos x derivative minus sin x. Next f triple dash of x is minus is minus sin x derivative is what we have cos x next f fourth derivative we have i can write 4 in a bracket or else simply i can write a roman letter like this f fourth derivative is we have minus is a minus cos x derivative is minus sin x so i can write directly 
sin x. Here you observe friends, fourth derivative of f of x and uh, fourth derivative and f of x both will be same. So fifth derivative will be equal to f dash of x. Okay now, sixth derivative and uh, second derivative will be equal in this case. Now I am finding at x is equal to 0. Okay. These values I am going to discuss. Then I will have f of 0. f of 0 is sin 0. What is the sin 0 we have? 0 only. Okay now. Sin 0 is 0. Now f dash of 0 means f dash of x we are discussing at x is equal to 0. That is cos 0. Cos 0 is what we have? 1. Now f double dash of 0 is nothing but second derivative of f of x at x is equal to 0 is minus sin 0. So negative is negative. Sin 0 is 0. So I can write directly 0 only. Now f triple dash of 0. f triple dash of 0 is negative sign. That is cos 0 we have. Cos 0 is equal to minus 1. Now this is f triple dash. What about the f fourth derivative? This is equivalent to f fourth derivative of 0. That is 0 only. Next this is f fifth derivative. Fifth derivative is we have 1. And what about the sixth derivative? Sixth derivative is we have 0. Seventh derivative at x is equal to 0 is we have minus 1. So now we have to substitute these all values in this equation. Then we will have f of x. What we have f of x is sin x. So sin x expansion now we are doing sin x is equal to what is f of 0? f of 0 is 0 plus x into what is f dash of 0? 1. So x into 1 plus x square by 2 factorial into f double dash of 0 is 0 plus x cube by 3 factorial into f triple dash of 0 is minus 1 plus x to the power of 4 by 4 factorial into f fourth derivative is we have 0 plus x to the power of 5 by 5 factorial into f fifth derivative is what I have 1 plus x to the power of 6 by 6 factorial into sixth derivative at x is equal to 0 is 0 plus x to the power of 7 by 7 factorial into here seventh derivative at x is equal to 0 is minus 1 and so on. Now we have to simplify this, then we will have the expansion of sin x is, this is 0, x into 1 is x, x square by 2 factorial into 0 is 0 only, so no need to write, here x cube by 3 factorial is there, but uh, the term is here negative sign, so negative x cube by 3 factorial, here the fourth derivative, uh, x power 4 coefficient is 0, so no need to write, x power 5 by 5 factorial into plus 1, so you can write this as x to the power of 5 by 5 factorial plus x power 6 by 6 factorial into 0. So the coefficient is 0 here. So this term will be 0. Next you have negative into plus uh, negative only. So x to the power of 7 by 7 factorial and so on. So this is the expansion of the sin x. Clear friends? Now third problem we are doing given that obtain the Maclaurin series expansion of f of x is equal to e to the power of x into sin x. Friends this problem we can do in a two methods. First method is by using Maclaurin series I am explaining. In the second method I can write the expansion of e to the power of x and uh, sin x expansion and I can multiply both even though you will get the same answer. Clear friends? Now I am doing a Maclaurin series expansion. Uh, from the Maclaurin series expansion we have f of x is equal to f of 0 plus x into f dash of 0 plus x square by 2 factorial into f double dash of 0 plus x cube by 3 factorial into f triple dash of 0 plus x to the power of 4 by 4 factorial into f fourth derivative of 0 plus so on. Okay friends. Now given that f of x is equal to e to the power of x into sin x. Friends you remember if suppose f is a function like this e to the power of x into pi of x form e to the power of x into pi of x form now f dash of x is equal to here you have a exponential function here it is a function of x both are product of uh, both are here functions of x here you have in between product so uv rule you need to apply first term into second term derivative is uv rule means uv dash plus vu dash so e to the power of x into pi dash of x plus means first term into second term derivative plus second term into First term derivative is e power x derivative. So e power x derivative is again e power x. So I can take e power x is common. Then I will get first I am writing pi of x. Pi of x plus I am writing the here term is what I have? Pi dash of x. 
So, e to the power of x derivative, e power x into pi of x derivative is, first e power x you need to write. And uh, open the bracket. Write down the e power x coefficient. Later, write down the coefficient to derivative. That's it. Okay, friends. This is the formula. So, now, to, uh, to get the expansion, we need to find out these all values. Which values you see? f of 0, f dash of 0, f double dash, f triple dash and so on. So, to get these values, first we have to differentiate with respect to x. Later, we have to substitute uh, x is equal to 0. Now, I am doing the first derivative f dash of x. Just now, we are discussing. This is e power x into pi of x form. So, e power x you write down. Now, pi of x is here sin x. What is the sin x derivative? Cos x. So, this will be f dash of x. Now, f double dash of x. f double dash of x is equal to now, e power x into, this is entire pi of x form. So, e power x into, what is the pi of x? Same you written, sin x plus cos x. Okay, this is pi of x friends. Okay, give a bracket for this plus. Now, the derivative of this, pi dash of x is nothing but derivative of this bracket or not? Yes, sin x derivative is cos x. Next, cos x derivative is what we have? Minus sin x. That's it. Now, you simplify. Here, you have a negative sign. Here, you have a positive sign. Both are getting cancelled. Then, you will have cos x plus cos x is 2 cos x. So, 2 times of e to the power of x into cos x. This is which value? F double dash of x value. Now, I require to find out F triple dash of x is equal to 2 is a constant. Now, again, it is in the form of e power x into pi of x form. So, e power x you write down. Now, what is the pi of x here you have? Cos x. Write down cos x. Now, you need to write down pi dash of x. What is the pi dash of x means here? Uh, cos x derivative is what I have? Minus sin x. So, negative sin x I am writing. So, this is the third derivative. Similarly, you need to find out the fourth derivative, fifth derivative. Actually, up to third derivative is enough. Okay. Now, where you need to find out uh, these all values, we have to discuss at uh, x is equal to 0. So, at x is equal to 0, what is f of 0? Friends, you remember, e to the power of 0 value is 1. Next, sin 0 value is 0. Next, cos 0 value is 1. Okay, directly I am substituting here. Now, f of 0 is e power x. Means e power 0 is what? 1. Sin 0 is 0. So, directly write on here 0. Now, f dash of 0. At x is equal to 0. This value is 1. Sin 0 is 0. Cos 0 is 1. So, 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 into 1 is 1 only. Now, f double dash of 0. f double dash of 0 means cos x is there. Cos x means cos 0. Cos 0 is 1. e power 0 is 1. 1 into 2 is 2. So, 2 into 1 into 1 is 2. f double dash of 0 is 2. Now, f triple dash of 0. Okay. f triple dash of 0 is 2 into e power 0 is what? 1. Cos, cos 0 is 1, sin 0 is 0. So, 1 minus 0 is nothing but what? 1 only. So, 1 into 1 is 1. 1 into 2 is 2. So, now you substitute these all values in the above expansion. Okay. Then, we have f of x is equal to e to the power of x into sin x, which is equal to f of 0 is what I have? 0. So, no need to write plus. But anyhow, if you are written, not an issue. Now, x into, what is f dash of 0? f dash of 0 is 1 plus x square by 2 factorial into f double dash of 0, I have 2 plus x cube by 3 factorial into f triple dash of 0, I have a 2 plus so on. Okay, friends, now you simplify. Then we will have e power x into sin x expansion is 0, I am not writing, x into 1 is x plus x square by 2 factorial. So, here you have a 2 and here you have a 2 factorial. So, I think these two are getting cancelled. Yes or no? Right. x square plus here you have a 3 factorial. 3 factorial is nothing but uh, 3 into 2 factorial or 2 into 1. So, here 2 in the numerator and denominator getting cancelled. Then you will have x cube by 3 plus so on. So, this is the expansion of e power x into sin x by using Maclaurin series. Okay, friends. This is the method one. Now, I am doing same problem by multiplying a e power x expansion and sin x expansion at x is equal to 0. Then you have to get the same answer. You see, shall I do in the method 2? Friends, now I am writing the expansion of e power x is 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial and so on. Similarly, I am writing the sin x expansion sin x is equal to x minus x cube by 3 factorial plus x to the power of 5 by 5 factorial and so on. 
now i require to find the expansion of e power x into sin x which is equal to product of that these two expansions that is 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial plus so on up to third degree is enough for me okay into sin x expansion is x minus x cube by 3 factorial plus x to the power of 5 factorial and so on so now i am multiplying each term okay term by term if i multiplied 1 into this term is as it is that is x minus x cube by 3 factorial plus x to the power of 5 by 5 factorial plus so on okay plus here x into this term x into x is x square plus into minus x power 4 by 3 factorial x into this term will be x to the power of 6 by 5 factorial and so on now i am multiplying x square actually no need to take x to the power of 5 up to x power 3 only i am taking i won't take uh, after simplification of highest powers of x cube remember now x square into 2 factorial is what i have x cube by 2 factorial plus if you multiply it, then you will have x to the power of 5 by 2 factorial into 3 factorial 2 factorial what i have 2 3 factorial is 6 so 6 into 2 is 12 plus so on okay friends now i am simplifying i required up to this terms x cube only okay now you write down x terms here you have only one x next x square term is there here no here you have yes write down x square is there any x to no so directly x square now x cube terms what i have here i have x cube by 3 factorial is there any x cube no here i have x cube term yes i have so first term is here you have minus x cube by 3 factorial what is the 3 factorial meaning 6 plus x cube by 2 factorial is 2 now you simplify this then we will have x plus x square here I can take x cube is a common. If I take an x cube common, then I will have minus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 2. If you simplify this, then you will have e to the power of x sin x expansion is x plus x square. Here if you simplify LCM is 6. Now you will have minus 1 plus 3. So if you simplify this, so this is a 2 by 6. 2 by 6 is nothing but 1 by 3. So x cube quotient is 1 by 3. Then x cube by 3 plus so on now you observe if you multiplied e power x expansion and sin x expansion uh, you are getting same answer or not you see yes or no both are same or not thank you for watching this video